you everyone for tuning in to our very first episode of From Combing to Closet. Um, we wanted to bring you this series. It's going to be a four part series um, that's going to take you from beginning to end, um, having to do all with the fiber and what we do with our animals here on the farm, what we're harvesting them for, how we do it. Um, and just to really see that full cycle. We've never done this before. We thought this would be a really amazing way to take you all behind the scenes um, into what we're doing on the farm here. Um, and so it's gonna start with herding in today's episode um, and then it will end with the final product of Kivyut Yarn and Garments. So why we wanted to show you, this is a little bit true to who we are as an organization. So we are a nonprofit organization and a big piece of what we do out here has to do with how we handle our animals. So the kibbit fiber that you're going to learn all about in this series is a byproduct of all of the hard work that goes into taking care of these muskox every single day and making sure that everything that we do with them is done in a very stress-free environment. And that comes into play especially in the herding that you're about to see down to the combing um, and that all makes it into a better garment at the end and to make it a product that we can be proud of. So we hope you enjoy watching um, herding on the muskox farm. Herding on the muskox farm is a once a week bit of the routine that adds to their tractability. It gives us the opportunity to um, walk with them and see them and see how they're um, interacting. Although he loves. As you can see that's a, a quiet gentle process. Muskox will stay with their parent, their mom, for three months. That gives them an opportunity to learn to behave like muskox and think like a muskox. There have been times in the past where muskox and, um, were separated from their mothers at birth and orphaned for some reason, and they imprint on people. They tend to not have the behaviors of a muskox at that point so much and consider themselves more part of a, a human herd. These animals are looking at us and see us as a dominant species in the world, but as you can see, it's not based on fear. It's just more based on a position that we've occupied in their world um, through just gentle and routine processes throughout their whole life. Farm staff will walk behind the animals and sometimes give them a little verbal cue to move on or just walk up behind them and sometimes just even a, a little pat on the rump is enough for them to realize it's time to get moving again. So all the animals are run through the chutes. These are the chutes that our visitors to the farm are walking on when they come by. So this all happens in the hours prior to people visiting to the farm. And depending on what part of the farm they're on, they will walk through a series of chutes. You'll see how we've got gate sets to give them only one path forward, directing them down into the animal handling area of our barn. As they come down this final section here, you'll see them go into a bit of a holding area that's rather small. That allows us the ability to give them enough room to wait comfortably, but also the ability to come back out and, and grab one or two animals at a time. We have a small piece of gate that we use that you'll see up here on the right in just a moment. And by using that gate, we're able to just walk kind of to the side of an animal and then we walk behind them and that visual barrier for them just encourages them to go forward. So this area we're going into is called the Crowder. This is where we will bring that final little stage before they go in. They'll have a gate will close and then they'll just walk their way into the barn and immediately through those doors is our stanchion and which is also our scale and we'll weigh them in there. Every week all the animals on the farm will come through the barn. And we do this so that they can get weighed and it also gives us a chance for a real up close and personal look at the animals and their just their health and welfare just to make sure that there's nothing that might have happened way out in a pasture somewhere that somehow got biased during the week. So real close chance to look at them and get a weight. So they'll be coming through the barn and open up the tailgate. And that's going to allow the animal to walk in. They'll just come in one at a time, slowly close up behind them, get a good look at them. Their ear tags are all in their left ear, and that gives a chance for the person to make a really good positive ID on the animal by their ear tag, and also just by who they are. We know who they are, but so we'll get a chance to look at them. Up here is our scale, 
and we'll just get a recording on that and everything just gets recorded throughout the there'll be a month at a time we'll be on a sheet so you can see how weight is tracked and we can see any trends that are happening with any of the animals and so if there's a, a weight loss or, or suddenly weight gain or something it just kind of helps us to really do our best work to monitor health and welfare once we've got that we feel good about our look at everybody then and that just opens up and gives them a free shot right through the back of the barn and once they get through there they can go back to their home pasture and be in a happy good place and their week's routine through the barn is all taken care of muskoxfarm.org and if you want to continue to see content like this if you hit the donate link that you can see above this video we would greatly appreciate it and stay tuned for next week's episode it's going to be all about combing so we're going to take you into a really special behind the scenes um, moment where you're going to be able to see our herd manager jamie combing one of our musk oxen so we're really excited for that um, and that will air next week Friday at 4 p.m. Um, on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.